As has been the case recently, every third release of AutoCAD brings us a new DWG format, and AutoCAD 2013 adheres to this rule. So whenever you go into a dialog box that is saving a file, you're going to notice that we now have this new format. Now a quick drop down of this will indicate to us that we can still save backwards, but from a CAD management point of view, it's just worth noting that we do have a totally new DWG format and that this will not be immediately openable by people on your project team who are using 2010 or 11 or 12 or even an older release. As in prior versions of AutoCAD, you can go to the Options command, Open and Save tab, and use the Save As control to save backwards to prior releases of AutoCAD DWG formats. And of course, this would be the way you'd deal with a project environment where you have different versions of AutoCAD in play. Now, one thing to note is this control not only determines the project DWG files, things that you create with Save, Save As, QSave, but it also controls shared content and block content. So if someone were producing project documentation in, in the form of blocks via the wblock command, this variable would also control the DWG version that they're producing, and that's sometimes overlooked from a CAD management perspective. So there you go, all the little things to be aware of with respect to the new DWG format in AutoCAD 2013.